Now, welcome back. Here's a recap of the storms that moved through last night. Several reports of wind damage across the viewing area from Jamestown Valley City, especially uh, into the Buxton area, Mayville, and around there. Fargo had some reports of wind all the way down toward Ottertail County. Wind reports of 50 to 65 miles per hour. And some hail reports, penny to as much as golf ball size, mainly into our central or uh, western viewing area out toward Jamestown Valley City. But we did get that golf ball sized hail report just off to the north north of Mayville and a lot of rain as the storm made its way through. You are seeing the yellows here. That's over an inch. The orange is over two inches. Rain from a lot of rain from just off to the east of Jamestown Valley City Fargo into Lakes Country and it is kind of much needed rain because we have been dry recently. Here's the Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot in Fargo looking off to the north and to the east and we saw plenty of sunshine today and just a few passing clouds. Temperatures near where they should be this time of year. We should be near around 75 degrees and uh, that's where we are right now close to that at 74 in Fargo Jamestown 73 Valley City 75 Oaks and Gwinner lower 70s across most of Lakes Country we're also into the lower 70s in the Devil's Lake Basin northwestern Minnesota and the Northern Valley a little warmer into the mid 70s as of right now so not bad out there uh, the only uh, negative thing about this is it's a little breezy from the north wind speeds at uh, say 15 to 20 miles per hour they should subside later on into this evening. Plenty of sunshine around the area. Just a few passing clouds, especially into northwestern Minnesota, across the border to Canada, and some showers just off to the south of Aberdeen, South Dakota. And that's it for the moisture. We have a, a few low pressure systems all missing us to the east, west, and south. High pressure in charge of our forecast. We're tracking that low off to our west. That'll be our next weather maker as it makes its way through here uh, tomorrow evening into Friday morning. So here's the hour by hour forecast. Temperatures falling through the 70s into the 60s for evening plans. Not bad. We're going to keep mostly clear skies and the winds will subside with a refreshing overnight period into the upper 40s and lower 50s for low temperatures around 7 a.m. Now, as we go through the day on Thursday, mostly sunny to start, partly cloudy later on to the day. More clouds moving in from the west, warmer into the upper 70s and lower 80s with a chance of a shower, possibly a thunderstorm for your Thursday evening. Most of us staying dry. Starting off near 50 in Fargo around daybreak, high of 81 degrees, mostly sunny skies turning part Partly cloudy, the wind light from the east or southeast, elsewhere across the region into the mid 70s across our, uh, say, northwestern Minnesota, most of Lakes Country, lower 80s into the Southern Valley, and mid 70s Jamestown out toward the Devil's Lake area. And then for the day on Friday, some showers overnight and in the morning possible, then a, a dry stretch through midday, mostly cloudy skies though, and then we have another chance of some showers and thunderstorms later on to the afternoon, lasting through the evening and uh, through the evening we do have a marginal risk of severe weather this is for Friday uh, one or two storms could be severe we're not expecting a widespread outbreak and the marginal risk is mainly south of I-94 so here's the photo of the day it's called uh, pontoon uh, uh, rides at uh, Little Pine Lake thank you John for this one Used in the background of the seven day forecast. Increasing clouds for your Thursday, high of 81, 79 on Friday. Chances of some showers and thunderstorms. Marginal risk of severe weather later into the day. Some remnant showers lasting through Saturday morning. Then a mainly dry weekend, mostly sunny by, by Saturday afternoon, partly cloudy Sunday into the low to mid 80s as we stay warm. Upper 70s Monday and Tuesday. Monday is our next chance of some showers and thunderstorms and dry through Wednesday, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, a high of 81 degrees. There's your weather. Let's check in with Robert Hahn now at the